So I'm up in my studio making some tampos for a class that I'm teaching, and I thought this might be a good opportunity to update uh, my earlier tampo making video, which was not so good. So hopefully this one will be a little bit better. Uh, in this, I'd like to show you how to make uh, these tampos or dabbers for applying ink uh, to your fish. They're really nice because they allow you to uh, get the ink on very evenly. Um, and to do a lot of blending on your work. So um, let's uh, take a look. What you'll need is some masking tape. Uh, the green stuff is made to adhere to stucco and masonry, so it has more stick. It's nice if you can find it. And I prefer the uh, thinner, whatever that is, three quarters of an inch. Uh, this one is the fatter one, and so I put down a stripe and cut it on my board. Um, You'll want some kind of foam. This is a half inch headliner foam that I got at a closeout from a place in Texas, I think, because it was stained. And uh, those little circular cosmetic sponges work great. Those are in my earlier video. And then cylinders uh, for taping the foam onto. Uh, old medicine bottles work great. These ones with the nice flat bottom work a lot better than the um, ones with that safety lid because they stand up a little bit easier. Uh, wine corks make nice um, cylinders for the smaller ones. And even these little bitty uh, dowels, which are left over from foam brushes that have been used, can also be recycled. So you can make really ginormous ones out of, uh, I think this is a recycled couch cushion. Um, and this is really nice for like a really large fish that, that you don't want to sit there inking forever. And then uh, all the way down to these little bitty dabbers, which are great for uh, doing details in small fish. So let me put this in my tri tripod, tripod and um, see if we can do a better video than last time on these. So uh, first we'll make one with one of these um, medicine bottles. And there is a um, piece of foam. I don't know. This is probably a four by four inch piece of foam. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to center this in the middle of it. And then um, I'm going to pull it down so that it's nice and even on the um, top. Now, this is pretty important. I'm going to now slide it up a little bit to get a little bit of air underneath there. This is going to give it some, some give when you're um, dabbing your ink on there, and you're not going to have the um, ring from the bottom of the cylinder uh, press through and make a ring of ink on your work. So because I squared that up, parallel to the bottom of the cylinder, I'm holding my two hands there. Now I'm going to pinch it up above, holding it in that spot. Now I'm going to take this tape. This, this is probably 16 inches of tape. It's a little bit overkill. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that corner down, bring it around, and get the other corner. Sorry, it's kind of hard to show you there. There. So you can see that now it looks like a little bitty, uh, I don't know, maybe a nun hat. The most important thing is that when you look across it here, it's uh, parallel to the bottom of the dabber. Even though that looks kind of wonky, that's okay. We're going to fix that in the next step. And the next step is to do the same thing you did before by pulling the next two corners down. Now for this one, you want to kind of uh, work these corners back and forth until when you look at it, it's a pretty nice, even, round, mushroomy thing. And you can pull the corners up, down, left, right uh, in order to get it the way you want. Um, and so that, see how that's nice and round right there? Uh, I like that a lot. That's what's going to make you be able to blend your ink super nicely without lines or ridges. So I've got my two fingers holding those corners where I want. Now, just like I did before, I'm going to go up and I'm going to pinch it up top. Now I can let go here and I'm going to continue my wrap. Okay, now all four corners are secured. So I'm going to finish this tape. And then what I'll do sometimes, because I like to reuse these plastic cylinders because they're harder to come by, so I'm going to kind of dog ear my tape like there just a little bit so that later when I want to take this off, I just pull it and I can throw away my foam and reuse that cylinder. Now, if you use this for water-based inks, you can actually wash these out and use them a few times, and that green tape does pretty well, uh, even getting wet. But if you used oil-based oil inks, uh, usually they're going to dry before the next time you use them, so you can get rid of that. So that's one on the medicine bottle. We'll uh, throw that over in our bin. Let me show you how to do these uh, little bitty guys, okay? Um, hey, I'm doing a video! 
Um, sorry, my daughter was looking for me. Um, you can either use the same thing, these little bitty squares, or um, after you use those cosmetic sponges, there's a little bitty thing left in the middle where they were punched out of, and these work great for these as well. Now, between the headliner and the cosmetic sponges, um, the cosmetic sponges have much finer uh, foam, much smaller bubbles, you know, compared to the headliner, and the headliner is also a bit thicker. Um, these you have to, the headliner, you have to work a little bit harder to blend your ink because the bubbles will throw, sh show through, but it absorbs a lot more ink. Um, and, um, unlike the cosmetic sponges, which put down really fine ink, sometimes it can kind of like, like, um, put some suction on the work that you're doing, which can be hard if you're, if you're dabbing things like, uh, botanical leaves and things like that, but each has their place. Um, and so we'll do these two. I mentioned to you that this tape was a much fatter that, than I prefer to use. So I'll just take that and I'm going to take my knife. Just try to run a nice straight line. Okay. And now same thing as before. These are easy. I'm going to center it in here. Pin down my two sides. Make a little bitty air gap. Okay, you want that air gap. Can you see that in there? All right. A little more delicate. It's going to be harder to pinch. So I might not be able to do this by pinching up top like I did before. So let's see what we can do here. Kind of trading hands. Okay, got one side down. Got my other side down. All right, there's our little nun hat. See it? Like a little helicopter. Okay, I'm not going to need all that tape, but we'll cut it off in a little bit. And now I'll pin down the other two sides. There's nice and round. I'm happy with that. Tap down that corner. And that corner. And finish it. All right. And there's a nice little mini dabber. And let's see if I can get the knot out of this. I'll do that later, not on film. And then maybe we'll do one more um, with a stick and the piece of headliner. Okay, so uh, we'll do the same thing here, just like before. Center it in the bottom. Push your two uh, ears down. Create your space underneath the top. Grab your tape. Tape down the first corner. Tape down the second corner. Super sorry I'm not watching this video and I'm realizing that this might not be the very good in terms of me keeping this right and center in the video. Get your other two, tape that one down. You kind of get your fingers learning how to work as a team here, like a couple of SWAT team members. One's securing an area while the other one's advancing. It's similar to printing, actually. Get that off. Boom, boom, boom. And there you go. So... Um, hypothetically, theoretically, um, no matter what you did these on, whether it's a bigger medicine bottle um, or even you can see I, I did um, some on a medicine bottle with that thick uh, couch foam, you know, you can do um, these tampos any size for, for what you want. And they're super handy. You don't get any brush strokes in your work. Um, and uh, I love them. They are definitely a game changer for uh, printing fish. So... Thanks for watching the video if you've made it this far. Um, if you uh, found it helpful, I would very much appreciate it if you were to uh, like this video. Uh, consider subscribing to my channel. Um, leave a comment. It's always fun to interact with people on there. So thanks a lot, and uh, we'll see you next video.